What's going on YouTubers, it's the kid here from the Kids Corner and today I got a quick unboxing of a Nikon D300 used off of eBay. I picked this up to be a backup from my D7000 just in case something were to happen as well as when I'm doing some photography stuff uh, I can have a different mount or a different lens mounted on um, a separate body. So I'll probably have like a 35-1.8 on this guy and then my 50-150 uh, Sigma on the 7000. So let's get this box out of the way and get the bubble wrap and all of its goodies here. So let's pop this off. I'm trying to be careful of my setup as you probably couldn't really hear too much there. So we're going to leave that off to the side real quick. Here's the camera body. We'll leave that here. Let's see what we get for some accessories. So we'll open this up and see what came with this guy. Now I know that um, you'll be surprised that no I am not Spanish speaking yet the manual that's included is Spanish because the person that previously owned this um, lost the English manual so I don't know but uh, whatever don't really need it and if I do I could purchase this off of, or not purchase I can download it off of Nikon's website so yeah uh, registration for um, the USA owner, so you know that this is not a gray market version, though it could be, and someone just threw this in, but whatever. Uh, here is a CPL circular polarizer, so we'll see if uh, I'm even going to use that, I'm not sure. And it is made by Rocketfish, I'm not sure if you guys can even see that. Rocketfish, and it's a 52 millimeter filter thread. So we'll pop that off to the side. Uh, it has the AV cable, uh, not interested in an eyepiece uh, cover. For doing time lapse uh, photography and long uh, long exposures, so we just put this off to the side because I don't really care about that. Now, what else came with this guy is nice. Uh, came as the body only with the battery, which is good. Um, according to the body, the battery is um, uh, it's still on the new setting, so I'm sure it's only a couple weeks old or if there's a way to hack that or someone just bought a new battery. But hey, I got a new battery. That's nice. And the seller threw in a SanDisk Compact Flash 4 gig, uh, the Extreme 3. Uh, this is my first Compact Flash. They're big, but I've always wanted one, so this is pretty nice to have. So I got those two for the camera, and it came with the charger as well. Uh, the Nikon quick charger and this is what the battery looks like when it's in there charging clicks in and does that and then the connector is at the bottom oh no it's at the top all right I just thought it was upside down uh, which is nice so I do have uh, a bunch of these types of cables around so I'm not sure if I'll use this one um, because it's probably going to keep itself all wound up like it is there keep the battery and the memory card off to the side and what else did we get? We got a 51.8D lens. Uh, I've wanted one of these and it came with the purchase, so uh, a great deal on my part. Uh, very nice and clean, no scratches, no fungus, no oil. Uh, autofocus is just fine. Uh, nice and smooth, which is nice. And the seller threw in a Nikon cap, or Nikon cap, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, instead of the cheap little chips one that uh, Kai from Digital Rev called it. Um, but yeah, that's that. We can open up the aperture blade there. Um, and the camera can control it from here. Or if I want to manually override it, I can click it out of this. And now I can change the aperture manually, which is pretty nice as well. So that's that. That's the lens that came into purchase. And we have to unwrap this guy, so it's going to take me a minute. To unwrap and wrap because this seller put a little bit of layer of bubble wrap on there which is nice I thank you for that because it came to me nice and clean and hang on a sec okay I'm back um so we got the camera body here which is nice uh, in the original box there over overall it's not in the d300 box but I could live without that um, and here is the camera body with the Nikon strap Nikon strap everyone to pronounce it I like I like Nikon though most of the time I pronounce it Nikon just because I was grown up that way and trying to trying to learn how to pronounce it the correct way but here is the Nikon D300 very very clean mint if you see any of these little uh, if it looks like any blemishes or whatever it's just a little bit of dust I just got to go out and clean this uh, but it's overall in excellent excellent condition 
I did a quick um, um, shutter count on this guy. I forgot what I used. Um, I it was I something. I forgot the word. But I downloaded the program, took one picture, and it came out to just over 10,000 shutter actuations on this guy. So this guy's plenty of life left. I believe this model itself has 150,000 um, tested shutter actuation release thingy, whatever you want to call that. But uh, yeah, this, um, this is pretty neat. It's a little bigger than my D7000. Uh, I do like that this upper dial up here... Well, it's not really a dial, sub dial, but um, the buttons here makes it look a little bit more pro, like the uh, D2X, D3, D3S, all of that stuff. So I like that. It'll make me shoot a little bit more with uh, control outside of having the dial with the PASM. You got to control it here through mode. But uh, yeah, very clean, very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we'll do this first. We will get into the battery. Pop the door open and we'll chuck the battery down, click it in, shut the door. Okay, now we got to open up the card door, which is nice. I like that. That's a cool feature. And we will insert the um, compact flash. Used to have an SD cards. Bam, that's in. Green light, let it know that it read the card. Now we have 370 shots on this guy. And I am going to mount the lens real quick. I'm going to do this real fast because my room isn't the cleanest. Uh, air quality wise and I don't really want to get dust in my setup so we'll drop this guy down on match up the white dots as you can see push it in click and I have the 518D mounted on this guy as you can see that is on I don't know if you can even see that it's glowing yeah I'm not sure if the camera even picks it up but it's glowing uh, the rear LCD works the viewfinder works and Oh, and it clicks like a champion. Awesome, and that's my, uh, that's actually a pretty cool shot. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you do have any questions or suggestions or some added uh, feedback or input for me about this guy, please let me know. Uh, like I said, this is a backup camera for my D7000, so if you guys have anything that will help me out in the future with this, please let me know. But if not, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.